all right hello 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 welcome back to these divinity these divine tarot thank you for joining in with me today Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and jump into this beautiful divine feminine healing energy. Let's see what they have for you for this week, okay? First, before we even get started, let me just start off with prayer because I feel like it is necessary <laughs> always. To the most high, heavenly and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, the one who leads us and guides us to all that is for our highest good, the ones who truly love us and protect us, I come thanking you, thanking you for these many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, thanking you for using me as a clear and open channel, thank you for allowing me to receive these visions and messages and whatever it is that you have for me to deliver to the collective, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for just allowing me to even utilize my gifts, thank you for these gifts, I know without you none of this would be possible and I truly can't thank you enough. I pray that the message uplifts, enlightens, heals, protects, nurtures, and is the best and is the right and intended with pure intentions message for the collective to help heal and nurture the divine feminine. All these blessings I ask and give thanks. I say, I say, I say all. I do apologize, y'all. Um, let's get on into the disclaimer. First, y'all just got to excuse. Never mind all the background noise. I can't help where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So that comes with the territory. I'll try to minimize it as best I can. Um, that's not going to keep me from getting into these messages, though, okay? So this week, we're going to utilize the wisdom of the House of Night oracle and the moonology oracle okay and we're gonna get into it in just a minute before we do though it should go without saying please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know and if you have any questions do not hesitate to let me know as it states in the description box these readings are intended to be timeless time and energy are fluid meaning you could have already gone through this you may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading okay now, I know we're focused mainly on the divine feminine energy, but <clears throat> I still may say he, she in reference to masculine or feminine energies, okay? So it's not gender specific and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Roles may be reversed. I may not even be talking to you or about you. I may just be talking about somebody to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe, okay? I don't know. Take it how it resonates, all right? All right, let's go on and get on into this because I don't want this to be too long. Um... Yeah. Oh, if you're interested in any of the previous day's readings, check the playlist and in, in the, uh, the link is in the description box below, okay? And you can have at it. I pray that it helps you, all right? All right, here we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> in pre-shuffle, a couple came out for the, um, in the Moonology. I remember seeing nothing will come of this situation and the answers you seek will come some whatever that card is um so i don't know that may that's for somebody though because i don't know what you, what y'all doing but you know somebody y'all might be a little bit impatient i feel calm down <laughs> it's coming okay let's it's see coming. what spirit has for you today let's just get one please what do you have for a divine feminine today what do you have for our divine feminists today? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clearing. Something about a clearing. Uh, too many though. Wow. Deceit came back out. And differences. What did I just say? Um, yesterday. If y'all didn't check that out, go check it out. I just want one. I don't want these. They already be, <laughs> you know, long enough. Um look <laughs> and this came out uh the other day too beauty it came out in reverse actually belonging and forbidden i don't know man 
Come on, y'all. Just just one. I think that forbidden was what I was talking about. Uh, what was it? The day before yesterday when complicated came out. That's the card I was um, thinking of when I said I get Virgo energy. It's like you, some, you know, the door is locked. You can't get it. You want it, but you can't get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's not meant for you. Something about that. Just one, please. I feel like that was it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Come on, focus. High Priestess of Spirit. This is one beautiful card. Wow. This is like that air, like that um, Aquarian energy, I feel. Or even like, um, what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, it's almost like King, it's almost like King of Swords to me. I don't know. Seven, that's powerful. That's definitely divine, spiritual, enlightened. You know what I'm saying, man? Being on a journey. Something's going on here. You are very much gifted, and I feel like Spirit is trying to connect with you. For sure. I told y'all, what day was that? Day before yesterday? I told y'all, y'all gonna receive very much like downloads or inspiration, guidance, what have you, if you just rest. That's the phoenix rising. Look at that on her on her cheek. Y'all see that? Mm hmm. And even she even got that that moon energy on her third eye. This is beautiful. It's beautiful energy, enlightenment. Look at these hearts over here. Come together in, with, in love eternally. Something about that. All tied up. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Who that's for? I hope we're going to have room because I had to adjust the camera a little bit. Hold on one second. Let me let me fix this. Okay. Hopefully that's better. I don't know. All right. Bottom of the deck we have <laughs> wishing. Some of y'all really went to the well, and I heard I hear your tears. That's that's where your wish and fulfillment is coming in through. You know what I'm saying? Because I hear uh, cry my last tear yesterday yeah look at her come on focus she like so soggy wet you know what i'm saying anyway um 19 being a 10 potentially or one um so you may be life path one nine seven or nine okay see what that has to do with in just a minute let's see here what do you need us to know what do you want the feminists to know just one please no <laughs> you're not doing this today just one thank you just one look I said girl that is a lot y'all just one please it's getting hot in here <laughs> so take off all your clothes I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I am feeling so hot. I want to take my clothes off. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Somebody. You listen to this. This is it. You listen to that song. Look, step out of your comfort zone. That's how your wish fulfillment is going to come through. And I feel like this has to do very much so with getting uh, divinely connected. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. I don't care what nobody talking about. Check your north node, by the way. Um, that's your. That's all about your purpose, your mission here on Earth. You know what I'm saying? How you are meant to fulfill it. Obviously, I mean, look, that's beautiful colorway with that the purple. That's divine connection. And I, I was getting ready to say, obviously, many of y'all, especially if this resonates, are very spiritual beings. You meant to start. Well, I told y'all with that seven energy, you got a divine purpose. You know what I'm saying? You're meant to walk the spiritual path, whatever that means for you. Okay? Don't let anybody tell you different. I feel like your higher self and you, you know what I'm saying, have been wishing for this. 
look i love it i love it that is beautiful you're very close to achieving your goal i love it mm, 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 mm. let's let's get on into this but you're gonna have to step out of your comfort zone you're gonna have to do something different you're gonna have to you know what i'm saying switch it up and like y'all some of y'all are going against the grain going against family tradition going against what you know what i'm saying what maybe your mama daddy auntie uncle sister brother cousin doing something very different i pulled in the spot expecting to be alone but <laughs> oh my gosh anyway let's see so let's start with the high priestess of spirit the picture is on 40 message on 41 the message underneath the picture says I am Nix, goddess of night, and you have chosen this symbol to help guide you on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things. Know that all things, events, and experiences are woven together like a magical web with, that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. My child, everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience are all orchestrated by me to help you become the powerful being you were meant to become. No matter what it is in front of you, something important is brewing. You know the answer to the quote, what, end quote, soon enough, but I keep, but I keep secret the quote, why, end quote. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. Mm hmm maybe y'all wishing to know and you can't find you ain't finding out i don't know but moving on to wishing um the picture and message below the picture are on 64 and then the message is on 65 choosing this symbol means you are at a wonderful juncture in your life where imagination and preparation can align with the web of power it says my dear one i hear your prayers i know your heart and i know what is for your highest good dreams do come true Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well. For every wish, there is a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require? Now is the time your wish will be fulfilled. Get ready, because I told you right here. Moving on into this monology, they told you that you're very close. Let me find them and I'll be back. Okay, I'm being called to start with the bottom of the deck. Um, you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. The word Gibbous means, quote, bulging, end quote. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending. They have ending, in quotes, card with a neat, quote, yes, end quote, or, quote, no, end quote, answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want though you're certainly on the right track which is hopefully reassuring for you however there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense so don't push too hard one false move and the whole thing could blow that's not meant to scare you it's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation so be careful if you choose to light it <laughs> light it up okay attuned to the moon it says i know that i'm on the right track that's the affirmation that you can repeat to yourself okay additional meanings are now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move for towards your dreams. Stay focused. It's a good time to start a new project and you need to get back into good health habits. All right. The teaching. Did I tell you all the page numbers? This is 30 and 31. Okay. The teaching. The gibbous moon comes at the very end of the lunar cycle, just before the full moon. She looks like she's bulging because she's almost a full moon. So she's nearly fully rounded. It's the culmination of the waxing cycle and as such tends to be a rather intense period of the month no matter when you pull this card it suggests a very ripe time and a very ripe situation all right moving on to step out of your comfort zone in the north node there's a strong feeling uh excuse me 116 and 117 are the page numbers there's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get a, get going towards doing the thing that scares you and in parentheses, they have within reason in parentheses. This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. That's what y'all wishing for, right? 
It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction, to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you are incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, quote, why did I wait so long? End quote. <laughs> Attuned to the moon, it says, I know I'm headed in the right direction. And then additional meanings are, you're headed for something which feels like destiny, and they have destiny in quotes. You need to face a fear and get over it. <laughs> Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet. You got this. Okay? The teaching. The north node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point and on the horoscope chart shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our... Wait a minute. What did they say? It's a karmic point. It's a karmic point and on the horoscope chart shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our life to find satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The North Node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us, to paraphrase Andre Gide, or Guide, G-I-D-E, that in order to discover new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. I love that. Okay. All right. Let go of the past and move on. I love that. Your wish fulfillment is coming true, but you got to let go so the new can come in. All right. You're on the right track. Just keep going. Keep fighting. Keep striving. For real, that's what they said. All right. I'm out of here. That's what I got for you. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimony down below because you never, ever know how this may help someone else grow, especially including yourself, though. Yeah. If someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate that, and I love you, and I thank you for that. Once again, if you're joining me for any previous videos or future videos, as far as the Divine Feminine Healing goes, check the link out in the description box, and I'll see you there, okay? Until then, y'all be nurturing, healing, loving, kind, gentle to yourself, all right? All right, now. Deuce. Thank you.